all right guys wes here welcome back to the channel and today we have a bunch of gta 6 news to go over as you know a lot of us were expecting 2024 to be a pretty dry year for gta 6 mainly because the game is roughly a year away from the official release date but lucky for you guys we just got a ton of news regarding the official trailer to release date we also got a brand new report from insider gaming that talks about gta 6's frame rate for console as there's been a lot of discussion on whether or not gta 6 will run at 60 fps on ps5 or if it'll end up being 30 fps we have a lot to talk about guys so check the video chapters for easy viewing also don't forget to enter the ps5 giveaway all of those details are in the pinned comment and without further delay let's get into it so grand theft auto 6 was leaked a handful of times before officially being revealed with a trailer in december of 2023 that gave us the official confirmation on the game's title the logo character setting and release window albeit we got a vague 2025 release window the first gta 6 trailer set a ton of youtube records and it's currently sitting with a ridiculous 180 million views but whenever it comes to the next in-depth look at the new game we're going to be waiting until the second trailer for that and thankfully there is a lot of reports and rumors going around that all seem to suggest that the second trailer is relatively close i mean with the game launching next year it seems believable that the second trailer will be coming out in the near future so rockstar and take two can really crank up the marketing campaign but let's just go ahead and get into when you can expect another look at gta 6. so the first going theory is that rockstar is planning on dropping the second trailer in may of 2024 less than two months from the time you're watching this video the logic for this being that take two will want the next trailer to be spread around the internet right before their quarterly earnings call the publisher take two is scheduled to talk with investors in may to discuss the next financial year and given how much power a gta 6 trailer has it would be a pretty good move for them to drop a trailer a day or two before the call to give investor confidence a bit of a boost and honestly a second trailer would do that very easily i mean after all take two's value spiked pretty drastically after the first gta 6 trailer came out and since the publisher were reportedly failed to meet its financial expectations in the latest fiscal year it wouldn't hurt them to give themselves a little boost going into the next financial report now the next date that we're going to look at is that the second trailer will drop before all of the summer gaming showcases which those typically take place within the first week of june now in case you forgot basically everyone was expecting the first gta 6 trailer to come out during the 2023 game awards but rockstar decided to drop it a few days before the event because they explicitly didn't want to take any attention away from the actual ceremony rockstar knew that a ton of people were going to be dropping into the game awards stream just to wait for the gta 6 trailer so they decided to get ahead of it and drop the trailer on their own terms a few days before the show and i think that same logic may apply in the coming summer this summer will have a ton of gaming showcases including a playstation event as well as a summer game fest hosted by jeff Keighley. now it's always possible that we get the second trailer during that showcase but i doubt that's going to happen rockstar and the power that gta 6 has is just way above a summer game fest so i highly doubt that it would be at that showcase even though i would love for that to happen if we get the second trailer this summer i highly doubt it would be at a summer showcase from either playstation xbox or jeff Keighley. it would be a situation where they just drop the trailer a few days early now assuming the trailer doesn't come this may i think the most likely month would be december of this year which would be the first anniversary of the first trailer rockstar isn't going to go a full year between trailers especially if the game is supposed to be launching in 2025 the absolute latest that gta 6 can drop at this point is december of 25 two years from the official release date of the first trailer and i just don't think rockstar and take two are going to push that schedule harder than they need to so like i said if we don't get a trailer this may or even april i'm guessing that december will be that month now we could get it during a gta anniversary in september but i don't think that's going to happen i think they're just going to stick with december so moving right along according to some new leaks that came out from a very credible source gta 6 is going to feature a ton of new gameplay details that will surely get you guys pretty excited now i'm sure you guys have heard about the overhaul to the police ai and combat strategies that will make the game feel very different from other gta titles but in the recent leak it was revealed that gta 6 will feature a fully fledged gore and dismemberment system that is surely going to add a ton of immersion to the overall experience especially since it was previously leaked that there's going to be chainsaws in this game as well now the dismemberment system totally makes sense because there was dismemberment in red dead redemption 2 and we've also had dismemberment in previous gta games but having it in the current area will be pretty interesting there's also reportedly going to be an option to dual wield firearms in this game and there's even going to be a 3v3 basketball mini game which honestly is the exact kind of additional content i would expect from a rockstar open world game the sunsets have also been reportedly reworked to be more realistic including several shades that the game will cycle through including orange purple and pink to make it true to the real world it's based on and just to make things even more immersive rockstar has reportedly overhauled how carjacking works in gta 6 making it much more difficult to accommodate for modern car security systems but also making the process 
process a lot more rewarding if you manage to succeed so if you were one of the people worried that gta 6 was basically going to be just gta 5 with a new paint job you could rest easy because from the sounds of it this is going to be a huge evolution from the last game in the series in more ways than just the graphic and visual upgrades but no matter how excited you are for gta 6's gameplay you probably shouldn't be expecting to experience it at a frame rate that's higher than 30 fps not to beat a dead horse i just don't think that there's any way that rockstar are able to get this game to be this big and this technically advanced to run above 30 frames per second on the playstation 5 ps5 pro or the xbox series x now according to a new report on insider gaming we actually have an industry analyst from digital foundry that spoke about gta 6's fps on the playstation 5 pro according to that insider gaming report they said gta 6 won't run at 60 fps on the ps5 pro according to digital foundry's rich ledbetter they said that people shouldn't expect gta 6 to run at 60 fps on the playstation 5 pro now this is following the insider gaming report that showcased the 10 percent increase in the cpu of that upcoming ps5 pro the article then went on to say that speaking on a special edition of the digital founder direct ledbetter said this and i quote all of these sort of conjectures that hey this is going to be great for grand theft auto 6 we'll be able to run that game at 60 fps on the ps5 pro and he said unless there's some sort of magical cpu stuff being done by rockstar suggest that's not going to happen an extra 10 percent on clocks isn't really going to do much at all now the insider gaming article then goes on to say the pro has a quote high cpu frequency mode which takes the cpu to 3.85 gigahertz a 10 percent increase over the standard console which is unlikely to have a major effect on fps performances but as the co-host says that necessarily won't be the case for all games so according to digital foundry themselves we shouldn't be expecting gta 6 to run at a higher fps on the ps5 pro so while that is unfortunate news that the game will be 30 fps most likely on ps5 pro there is one outlier that i don't think many people have considered and that is according to the ps5 there's a pssr which is basically playstation super sampling ai technology that will essentially act as a dlss or an fsr3 now if the ps5 pro unlocks some sort of frame generation technology similar to dlss or fsr fluid frames then i guess it's possible that the game could run higher maybe they'll allow like an uncapped frame rate mode that basically allows the ai accelerator of the ps5 pro to increase the frame rate with those fake frames but again i'm leaning more towards what digital foundry said the game will most likely run at 30 fps on console so we'll have to wait until we get it on pc to officially experience gta 6 above 60 fps or rather just above 30. next up let's go ahead and talk about the release date for gta 6. we actually have some official details to go off of take two has officially confirmed that while the game is going to be dropping in 2025 it is not going to be dropping within the first three months of the year meaning april 1st 2025 is our soon as possible release date for the game this means the official release date window straight from take two interactive is somewhere between april and december of 2025 but we can also narrow that down a bit further because it's unlikely that the game will drop in november or december with how much money take two is telling investors that this game is going to generate in 2025 i have my doubts that they're going to wait until the last two months of the year to release the game it's also a bit uncommon for a major AAA game especially like this to come out in november or december because the publishers usually want to capitalize on the holiday sales as much as possible which means we were likely going to get the game sometime in september possibly october and if we're lucky it'll be august so that way whenever everyone goes out and does their shopping for the holiday they'll know the game is out and be more willing to pick up a copy for a friend or a loved one now on top of that it's also believed that gta online will not release alongside gta 6 but it will likely be up and running by the time the year ends which means a november or december release date for the game basically is unlikely so if i had to guess i would say gta 6 is going to drop in either september or october of 2025 well what do you guys think about all this news are you excited for gta 6 or are you going to remain cautious until it actually comes out personally i think rockstar is going to nail this game they've done it time and time again with basically every single game that they release so this is a game that i will continuously be excited for let me know what your thoughts are on the fps situation when do you think the game is going to release and when are we going to get trailer 2 thanks again for watching this video guys do me a favor hit the like button if you've enjoyed my coverage subscribe with your notifications turned on don't forget to answer the ps5 giveaway those details are in the pinned comment and until next time this has been wes and i'll talk to you guys again soon